Hi everyone, in this video we'll continue from the last program where I tried to show you how to ask or how to input two integers numbers, not the point we asked, integers numbers. And I tried to show you how to do the sum or subtraction or multiplication or division. Okay, so now what we're going to do is going to just modify this program to show you how we deal with not integers numbers now anymore. It should be let's deal with float numbers or double numbers okay for example so how do you do how to input two float numbers or doubles and let's get the sum or and put it sum or anything sum or subtractions or multiplication or division and you'll see the advantage okay uh, let me just put into and the advantage what you're going to get is that you can get the division of the two numbers in a decimal thing. So let's say, you know what, let me, let me make a modifier program that I want to make it more exactly. I want to de deal with doubles. And this time I want to get exactly the division of the two numbers, right? So let's say if I say um, division or you can say, just say, yeah, division of two numbers is let's say I want a message like this okay so first thing is as usual I want to print this first message guys okay so you now you know what you have to do load the message in a0 do a system call code 4 in syscall and this will print the message 1 now I want to input a double Okay, so here you're learning how to input a double of float numbers. So look for the code here. If you want to read a float or double, the code is either 6 or 7. Okay, now I'm trying to give you a recap of the integer. If you want to input of integers, you know automatically the given input integer from the user comes and gets stored in V0 automatically. So similar same thing for float and double. If you in try to input float or double, automatically it comes automatically in V0. So whenever you tell them, okay, input a float or input a double, and whatever user gives in the program, it automatically comes and store in F0, not in V0, guys, anymore. Okay, so in F0, because float numbers, they have a separate area called coprocessor. So where the exactly area is F0. So let's come back to the program. So... You know, when you say, okay, I want to input not five integer anymore. I want to do, let's say, double. So double is what? Seven. So this is double. And you know, like when you say, and then you say syscall, remember when you say a function call with code seven, automatically the double number will come in F0. Remember guys, I told, I'll show you again. It automatically comes in F0. So it's our duty to move from F0 to wherever you feel like to store it. So this time I'm going to say, okay, move from F0 and move it to F2, for example. So you're saying you're moving from to F2. Now you're moving to F2, okay? But this is going to give you error because you're moving from, not from one register to another, but you're moving from coprocessor register to another coprocessor register. And it's a double. So you're just going to say move dot double okay so if you just say the word move is going to give you an error now this will give you another this will print another message okay as we said it now again i want to input a double after this after printing a message i want to get the new number which is again double so again is code seven and when you say sys call seven remember again it comes guys automatically in f0 okay this on your right hand side this register f0 so it's very important to tell them, okay, once you got the syscall, move from F0 to, let's say, I want to move it to F4. Now note it, guys, is double. So we have to put into the some even register. But again, this will give you error because it's move.d. And I'm moving it to F4 now. So you know that one of the double answers in F2, one of the double answers in F4. And now if I want to subtract this, so I'll say the word diff dot double 
it's the same command as earlier one but it's not integer now so it's the div dot double so you're saying okay uh, in f dollar f4 I'm saying okay dollar f2 and dollar f4 what does it mean you're saying divide what is in f2 by dollar f4 and the new answer store it in f4 okay so you can store in f6 also but you is a kind of you're wasting register so try to save the register rather than wasting the register so you can say f4 or more smartly you can store it in f12 guys here why f12 because this is my final answer and I if I want to print this final answer you know whenever you want to print a float before you print a float remember where it has to be it has to be stored in what f12 so since if I need if I if I need to print this you know the answer of this to if I want to print it it has to first store in f12 before printing so I'm storing it from now so that I don't need to do a job later so you can say um, dividing the two input I'll say double and storing it in f12 okay so you can try with sub dot um, d okay mul dot d and div um, div I'm already showing to add dot d and if you want to do with single precision you can say s now after getting the answer I want to print the third message which is in message 3 I told them okay the same thing print the message 3 now in order to print double guys what is the code in order to print the double uh, float sorry double if you want to print the double the code is what 3 so you need to learn it all this thing so I'll say okay I'm telling that I'm giving a system call code in v0 3 but you know the rule whatever you want to print a double or float it has to be in f12 and you know now this time I don't need to move to f12 why because the answer already I stored in f12 so I don't need okay um, like I'll just write it um, the answer is already in f12 okay so whatever you want to print is already in f12 okay so and then if you say you know like you're telling them to print that uh, double for because the code for printing a double I said it is what three so when you say okay do print when you say it's system call three meaning what uh, to print a float or oh, no it's double okay and when you say syscall they'll do the job and this code is for what this code is for to exit now the same program I modified from the earlier one but now this will work for um, decimal numbers okay so let's save as and I'm going to say adding not adding will be dividing users input to double numbers or you can say decimal numbers okay so now let's run this and check it guys here so I'll first I'll assemble it to see if any any errors there's no errors there so I'll increase this uh, output box you know the best way is reset this clear this and then you run it so see if I give you number 2.36 something or let's say I'll give uh, 256 point this something and enter another number so I'll say 12.4589 and when you divide it it gives you a perfect number okay so that's the output for you you can try something more from your own side depending on what program you want to do so the same thing just keep a note if you're dealing with double numbers make sure all the storage is in even even coprocessor registers but if you're dealing with float numbers you can just change all these to move.s or div.s and you can store in any registers you feel like okay you don't have to follow the even and odd convection that's it for the video